we showed great character today. Um, I thought we played in, in, in parts of the game in the first half we were very good. Um, but obviously, as you'd expect, Tottenham have got great confidence at the moment and, uh, and got some outstanding players. So, uh, so we knew we had to dig deep today. And, and in particular, that final half hour, uh, we kept pushing and kept pushing. And I thought we got the deserve three points. How worried were you with the first sort of 15 minutes of the second half? Because they obviously got themselves in front. And at that stage mm. of the game, they looked quite comfortable at 2-1. Yeah, we were disappointed with the two goals, I've, uh, I've got to be honest. Um, I thought Michael Oliver, who was outstanding today, and, and he's a very good young referee. I thought when you, when you analyse the goal again, Garth Bale was off the pitch and he was allowed to come on the pitch when the ball was on that side. And it ends up, he then gets the cross into the box. And, and we didn't defend maybe the cross well enough. Um, and in the second one, obviously t to put them two one up, I don't think it's a foul. You know, if you if you give a free kick for that, then you'll give two hundred free kicks again. So, uh, so all of a sudden we found ourselves two one down, and then it was a question then of our, our character and resilience as well as our quality. Um, and the players dug themselves out of it. Then we had to change it. I felt that normally we like to control and dominate the games with the ball and. And we weren't quite doing that in that first 15 minutes where Tottenham were very good. Uh, but we made the change, got our three midfield players in there to get on the ball again. And then that gave us the, the platform to go and build and, and move forward. And obviously we then get two goals. And uh, as I said, it was a great win for us. Andre has suggested <coughs> that he thought the turning point was probably the miss by Gilfie Sigurdsson. Well, you know, Brad Jones would say, well, hold on, I saved it. I mean, it was, it was a crucial moment. Yeah, yeah. He got out too easy down the other side of the pitch and, and obviously... Gilfie, who, as I said, he's a terrific young player and, and a good goal scorer. But uh, as you say, it was a great save by Brad. Um, and those are little key moments that you need. We've had moments that have gone against us in, in the season. But, uh, but I think by the end of the 90 minutes, I think we were deserving winners. It was a fantastic game, been great for people to watch. And uh, two outstanding sides that were fighting tooth and nail to get the result. In. And thankfully for us, it continues our momentum, continues our good form here at Anfield. And, and give credit to the supporters, they were brilliant today. They kept with us and kept pushing us, and it was a great victory for them as well. Now, you've got the point, so I suppose you could say, well, it doesn't matter, but um, there were probably three incidents in the game where you might have had penalties. Coutinho in the first half, where Suarez flashed it across. There was um, Glenn Johnson and Daniel Sturridge in the second half. Yeah, I haven't seen those, to be honest, so I can't comment on them. OK. Um, three points, you're, you're now above Everton. Um, can you still finish in the top four? Is that a possibility or is it too much to close with that gap? Yeah, but we're not focusing on that at the moment. It's one where we're just working very, very hard and, and looking to our next game. This was always going to be a tough game for us today and thankfully, as I said, a great performance and we got the three points. Now we must recover well and walk towards Southampton who are obviously fighting and so that'll be a tough game for us next week. But in terms of where we want to finish, I've always said it was just to finish as high as we possibly could. Uh, and at this minute, you can see the real spirit and character and quality in the team. And we can continue with that through the end of the season and let's see where it takes us.